North Korean leader Kim Jong-un warned again that he could use nuclear weapons in potential conflicts with South Korea and the United States, as he accused them of provoking North Korea and raising animosities on the Korean peninsula, state media reported Tuesday. Kim has issued similar threats to use nuclear weapons preemptively numerous times, but his latest warning came as outside experts say North Korea could ramp up hostilities ahead of next month's U.S. presidential election. In a Monday speech at a university named after him, the Kim Jong-un University of National Defense, he said that North Korea will without hesitation use all its attack capabilities against its enemies if they attempt to use armed forces against North Korea, according to the North's official Korean Central News Agency. The use of nuclear weapons is not ruled out in this case, he said. Kim said North Korea's nuclear response posture must be fully enhanced because South Korea and the United States are pushing to beef up their military alliance based on joint nuclear and strategic planning, a move that he said would increase the danger of breaking the balance of power on the Korean peninsula. Kim apparently refers to the new South Korea-US deterrence guideline that the two countries signed in July to integrate South Korean conventional capabilities with US nuclear weapons to better deal with North Korea's evolving nuclear threats. South Korea has no nuclear weapons. Tensions on the Korean peninsula deepened in recent weeks, with North Korea unveiling a facility to produce weapons-grade uranium, a nuclear ingredient, and continuing a run of missile tests. Chan Chuchetokimuro we 김정은 동지께서는 가장 성스럽고 정의로운 사명을 안고 태어나 조국과 혁명 앞에 쌓아올린 자랑스러운 공은과 학적으로 그 이름을 빛내온 공화국 최고의 국방과학기술학원이 창립 예순돌을 기념하게 되면 우리 당과 인민의 커다란 기쁨이며 온 나라의 경사라고 하시면서 당중앙위원회와 정부 전체 공화국 무력을 대표하여. 대학의 전체 교원, 연구사들과 일꾼들, 학생들을 열렬히 축하하셨습니다. 후티 rebels organized protests on Monday in different parts of Yemen marking first year of the Hamas attacks in southern Israel which triggered a war in Gaza. Hamas-led militants abducted 250 people during their October attack in Israel in which some 1,200 people, mostly civilians, were killed. Israel's retaliatory offensive has killed over 41,000 Palestinians, according to Gaza health officials, who do not say how many were militants. 
The war in besieged Gaza has also displaced roughly 90% of the Strip's population of 2.3 million. Most have been displaced multiple times over the course of the war. Let's go. 